seventh grade, that's when I started like missing school and like, you know, it actually became like, oh, wait, this is actually something I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, like I said, with with like the more stuff I did, it just, it felt like I was supposed to be doing it. And it felt good and satisfying to, you know, do shows and do concerts and, you know, miss weeks of school to go and pursue something that was bigger than just, you know, learning about whatever we were learning about because I was learning about something that I was passionate about. You know, sometimes it's tough being a kid while also trying to handle an adult's career. So when I was in middle school, you know, that was when it was really tough because I was still, you know, trying to figure out my place in life. I missed out on a lot of stuff because, you know, people would be like, hey, we're having a party this day, you want to come? Dude, sorry, I can't. I'm recording that day. Or, no, dude, I have to prepare. I need to practice. I have this thing coming up that I really, you know, I want it to be good. And there's so many ups in the business and there's so many lows. And, you know, there's just so much of, of positive and negative. In this industry, you really have to, like, clear your head and pick apart who's who because it can get confusing sometimes. You really have to make sure you don't become one of those people who, you know, say that, you know, you can't do it. I got to perform with Naughty by Nature at a New Kids on the Block mixtape tour with, you know, Debbie Gibson, um, like, legends. Accomplishing a dream like that with those people was just, I, it was just so fulfilling. I got opportunities that other kids don't get, ever. Still no